Regarding the wines of Portugal, I have to say it's always a pleasure to uh, to taste these because uh, I visited the country first time roughly 15 years ago and at that time quality was really not as regular as today. And regular is not a negative word, it's just like everything it is at least good, uh, a lot of it is very good and then a few of the examples are truly excellent. I've been doing uh, my fair share of tasting of uh, Duro which has obviously been a an amazing experience over the last 10 years following the progress and just to see how many wonderful wines are that are emerging from there. This tasting was more focused on Alentejo and um, Setubal, Peninsula of Setubal, but rather the dry wines. And uh, Alentejo is also a region I visited quite some time ago. Would love to come back. I was very impressed by the overall quality and I suppose that uh, this is a region that had gained has gained in uh, uh, in nuance and uh, finesse because I mean this is obviously a very hot and, and sunny area it's probably quite easy to make a big and bold wine but uh, I really think that the work with um, having better balance in terms of extraction and oak treatment and obviously I mean that great treasure of all the ind indigenous varieties they uh, really truly work well as a single variety but even if I find um, the blends always being a bit more, more complex. In terms of vintage, I found the 2013s uh, very well balanced. I found the style without really knowing uh, the vintage detail. I found the vintage being much more balanced. Uh, it felt slightly cooler. Uh, it was a great clarity of the aromatics. Uh, structures were, I mean, rich, intense and fruity but will, with uh, well-kept levels of uh, acidity. And um, everything else, I mean, those small details in, in like extraction and oak seems much finer today. Peninsula de Setubal, I have been tasting less of the dry wines and it's still pretty much a new area for, for quality wine. I was quite impressed. Uh, my only reservation was that some of the wines appeared very tannic, particularly some varieties like the Cabernet Sauvignon truly develops a lot of tannin that should be tampered in some way. The white wines in general, uh, I remember them in the old days as not being that interesting. Today I think it's close to impossible finding a bad white wine in Portugal. Once again I think uh, you have a great treasure of your indigenous varieties and modern vinification, retaining freshness and acidity, have getting very interesting aromatics. I mean, it, it's a it's a true blast to taste them.